It all started back in November 2016. Planet Coaster launched and we started to play this game here on Theme Park Worldwide. And this has been a project that has been heavily inspired by everyone that has watched it. You guys have commented on the videos as Frontier have released a new DLC to the game. They put new rides in, new theming items, and you guys have suggested things what I should build in this park. Not only that, uh, but you've helped inspire me with names, suggesting names for rides, and it has been very much a community style feel whilst I've been building this park. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you who has commented on the video, interacted with us throughout the past 14 months. And this short video is gonna be about celebrating everything that's been built inside this game, Volcano Springs, my first park in Planet Coaster. Let's start off then. The first thing I ever built in Planet Coaster, way back in episode one, was this RMC hybrid coaster. And I remember building it, I was so proud of it. And the reason that I built this first and not the park entrance was because I had no clue what I was gonna do for the entrance to this park. Uh, who knew that a few months later on, I'd be building a massive grand hotel and learning all these different tools in the game. And I'm still learning things now with Planet Coaster and I'm gonna be moving into some new series uh, with so many more skills than when I started off with this one. I look at this coaster now and think, God, I can build so much better than this now. Um, but it's still fantastic to look back on that very first creation, uh, right back at the start of Volcano Springs. Look at that, a really nice overview. Uh, the terrain of it, the trees all around it, the buildings. I was just really pleased with that. And the area in general. And you guys helped inspire me with this. I've been a big fan of the Frontier style theme for a very long time. In fact, I remember visiting Disneyland as a kid and falling in love with Frontierland. And I wanted to bring a bit of that into Volcano Springs, but also have some bigger rides here as well, such as Buzzsaw that you can see there in the background, the giant swing. I wanted more of a, an adult feel to some areas in this park. I didn't want it all to be family orientated and I definitely like what we did here uh, with the Wild West area. A couple of shots there of the log flume. Again, that works really nice. They all covered up in the rocks. I could do that so much better now with all the experience I've got, but I still look back on that as the first ever water ride that I built in Planet Coaster. It wasn't until episode 13 that was filmed back in March 2017 where I started work on the entrance and that was spread over three different episodes. Uh, now with this I kind of had an idea by this point what I wanted to build. Now Disneyland Paris is one of my favourite theme parks out there and especially uh, Disneyland Park. The entrance to that is stunning and I always remember going there as a kid. Uh, Disneyland Paris was the first ever Disney park that I visited and that was back with my parents in the early 2000s. And I thought, you know what, I want to create something like that. Not a replica uh, of it, but I want to have it inspired, so to speak, by that. And you can see just here the east and west wings of the hotel with the corridors that link up to the main building. You've got the clock on there as well. And just overall, a really nice building, whether you look at it from inside the park or outside the park on the plaza. Having the turnstiles built into that as well uh, just makes it a really nice viewpoint where you walk in, uh, like these guests are here, and see the volcano down the bottom, especially uh, when there's a show going on as well. Deep in the forest of Volcano Springs lies the biggest project that I've done to date in the game. This was the final thing that I built. It was a motion-based dark ride that I started back in November, just before Christmas, and that span across three episodes. This is a huge dark ride using this trackless system with lots of massive scenes, uh, interactions going on, lots of special effects, some really good lighting. And at the moment, this is still my favorite thing that I've built in Planet Coaster. Over the 14 months, I've been playing this game I've done some great things inside this park but for me this just shows how much I've developed from back when I started the game to how I'm ending it now Spanish 
spanning across five different episodes and starting way back in episode 19, the sci-fi area is the largest themed area inside of Volcano Springs. It consists of the go-karts attraction, a large indoor spinning coaster, supporting flat rides and a huge outdoor double launch coaster. The biggest area in the park and the one with the most work in terms of the theming and generating ideas for it. Uh, a lot of you will know that I used to play a lot of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and with that game I never really used the space or futuristic style theming that much at all. So with this it was a bit more of a challenge and with this area I'm quite pleased with how it ended up. I'd like to have gone back and added more details but I especially like uh, the buildings I've done up here and uh, especially the spinning coaster, the facade and exterior of that building is one of my favourites inside of this park. And I've learned so much from it and I did so much different as well if I could do it all over again but I've taken so much from this project and look forward to expanding uh, with future projects inside of Planet Coaster. Here you can see the interior of the spinning coaster and that really came together nicely in there, all the near misses and special effects but like I say there's so much more I would do with that now. Uh, especially after using the star cloths and uh, the space style theme in what I put into the uh, haunted dark ride where you could literally put stars all the way around in the sky. I would do something similar in there now. Um, so again, I've learned so much and I can't wait to start on a new project. After taking a relaxing ride on the Volcano Springs Railroad, we've arrived in the fantasy themed area of the park. This is actually my least favourite area that I've built in Planet Coaster and the reasoning for that is that I was distracted with all the other areas inside this park and I never had my attention solely devoted to it. I built the beautiful junior coaster here, the Dragon Coaster, that I was really pleased with but from then on in I went to build an inverted uh, family coaster, I put the teacups in, the vintage cars and it never really had my full attention which is a shame really, I was distracted with other things going on in the park um, but with another part that I will do in this game I'll definitely dedicate more time to a fantasy area. Now I was actually going to go back and redo this area and some of the parts of it uh, but due to the lag in the game and how it was running I thought I'm going to leave it this time but next time I do a project in Planet Coaster I'm going to really focus on the fantasy theme. This is my personal favourite area inside Volcano Springs. It is of course the pirate themed area and here you've got the highlight which is the B&M wing coaster and that interacts beautifully with both the rapids underneath and all the footpaths all the way around there as well. Really pleased with how that turned out. You can see it just here swooping over the queue lines of the ride. Again, I wanted to make sure that it was really interactive and it built up the anticipation whilst you were queuing up to wait for this ride. All the rock work around this area was also individually placed. Normally uh, you'd use the terraforming for that, but I wanted to give it that extra feel by adding each individual rock all the way around and also putting the trees and landscaping around it as well to make it a really nice designed attraction. You got the rapids just here as well, and as much as I'm not a massive fan of the rapids inside the actual game, uh, I thought I did quite well with this. I have worked on other rapids since, and I'd like to think that I have got a little bit better at building them, but I still think they're a little bit too slow. I wish they were a little bit faster, and when you had a drop and things, it built up the speed for longer, or you didn't have to build them uh, on a gradual decline. The other highlight for me then in this area is the gorgeous dark ride, the pirate dark ride and I actually watched a lot of other YouTubers and things to see how they were building dark rides uh, so thank you to everyone who built a dark ride because I must have watched all of them on YouTube and I thought you know what I'm going to go in for it and build uh, my own dark ride but this with the pirate theme obviously back then you, the only choice was for building dark rides was a sleigh ride really or you could use like your vintage cars so yeah I went for this sleigh ride and you couldn't really tell actually. Uh, 
uh, with it being a pirate ride, it kind of fit in all right with the brown colour scheme. Inside here, uh, some really nice buildings, again, more rock work, some really nice lighting and things. And at this point, uh, they also launched the triggers, uh, because when I first started building this, the triggers weren't a thing. And then they became a, a thing inside the game. So looking at that now, it's amazing to think that we didn't even have triggered effects when this game started. So there we are, the pirate area, a personal favourite of mine, inside Volcano Springs. months and 30 episodes later we wrap up this series of Let's Play Planet Coaster. I'd like to thank each and every one of you who commented on the videos, liked the videos, suggested different themes, rides and ideas for Volcano Springs and most importantly for watching Theme Park Worldwide. So thank you very much and stay tuned for future projects of Planet Coaster very soon.